What is happening, Magnesites? Gotta check out the twins on this one. Um, uh, frankly, uh, I didn't do the research, and I don't feel like it, and I'm sure that uh, this will be entertaining as well as informative on what exactly happened. But from what I understand, because I kind of saw it in passing, I think I saw some posts on Instagram or something, I believe... The brother was shot by the cops and killed in Philly. He was wielding a knife. However, his mother says that he was uh, mentally disabled. And um, she kept trying to de-escalate de it. And the cops shot him anyway. From That's what I saw and heard on Instagram. Um, to show you how much I watch the news. I ain't know nothing about it, and Philly's right in my backyard over here, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, I don't watch the news that much, but um, uh, I'm watching it more now because of you guys requesting a lot of these reactions and my thoughts on these things. So, um, I'll tell you this, if it's absolutely true that he's mentally disabled and you know, he was wielding the knife and everything, and you know, and the mother let them know, look, he's, look, he's got a problem. Just don't shoot him. I mean, they didn't have to shoot him. I, I, I put it this way. I, this is the way I think. All right. There's a lot of other countries that don't have problems with uh, their their law enforcement murdering their citizens. Okay, and um, a lot of other countries also aren't as violent as the United States, and I get that. And there's certain things that play into that whole thing. I think there's a better way, period. I think there's a better way than killing so many people in the streets. I do. I do. I don't care if it's in the protocol rule book of the police or law enforcement or law. I don't care what law it is. I don't care what, what protocol it is. Just because it's law or in the rule book doesn't make it right. And I think that killing people in the streets when you do not have to, when you do not have to, you know, I just think it's uncalled for. It's sad. It's sick. I think a lot of people die needlessly when they do not have to die. Yes, there are situations where a cop's life is truly in danger. Okay, truly in danger, not just ah, he was ah, ah, yeah, I mean, it, and you're like 10 feet away, ah, ah, you gotta kill him, you know what I mean? Like, I wasn't there, I haven't seen any footage, I know nothing. I'm just saying that if that is correct, but I also do believe something needs to be done with so many people getting killed in the streets, you know, and I don't know what it is, I really don't. Because we should have the right to protect ourselves. You know what I mean? To bury arms. You know, it's because they take the guns. <laughs> That's a whole new problem that could happen with government and people. The thing and again, I look at other countries where they don't, they don't let them have guns. Like, like, like uh, you know, England, right? They're not like that. But they have a knife problem. Because a lot of people carry knives. So, you know, I don't know what the solution is. All I'm saying, there's got to be a better way. And a lot of people in the upper echelons of, you know, government, you know, are smarter than me in that area. And I'm sure they know what they can do. All right, let's see what's up. I could have been ranting on about the wrong story. Let's check this out. Uh, uh. Remember everybody, before we start the show, you can always support the Horse Twins. OfficialHorseTwins.com. Pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Remember, use discount code ChineseVirus. I give you 20% off. Because we some good guys. We got some nice hats on that too. And we <laughs> love this great country. Alright, so we want to um, touch on the riots in Philadelphia and why they're rioting. Yeah. Not because a white police officer just went on and started picking on black people. So look, there's a black one. Yeah, look at him sagging his pants. I'm going to go tease him a little bit. Yeah, let's go mess with him. That's not what happened. What happened was, 
young black man was uh, he was having some kind of mental break, and his uh, relatives called. Yeah, his name was Walter John Walter uh, Wallace. Walter, Walter Wallace, Wallace Jr. Jr. Yeah, and uh, so the cops show up. I'm not gonna show the video. It's I mean y'all probably probably seen it already. Yeah, I don't like showing too much violence in my videos. So cops get there. Uh, uh, Walter comes out holding a knife. Yeah. Cops tell him repeatedly to put the knife down, and the cops are backpedaling. They do not want to shoot this man. Yeah. I mean, I will show you the video. Just take my word for it. They shot and killed him. All right. He, I gotta see the video. And, and that's I'll watch the video after this. But uh, the media, they play some role in this. Yeah, the why, especially why black people act the way they do when the cops show up. Yeah, and uh, Hollywood. Mainstream media, they got their hands all in there. Yeah, this has, and this, this falls at the feet of the mainstream media. Ew. And I'm gonna I'm prove that point right now. I'll put up an article. One of my videos. CNN, CNN of course. Comedy yeah. News Network. Yeah, so they don't want to focus on, you know, cleaning the issues up. Yeah. They want to keep pushing this perception yeah. that white police officers are hunting down. <laughs> and unfortunately, a, lot of, uh, a great majority of the population in this country, yeah. they can't think for themselves. Yeah, and they buy into this, this this BS. They buy into it. So CNN and a lot of our leftist media, they do not want us to come together. As I got it queued up. Yeah. Once we I'm going to watch it when this is over. The more yeah. we fight, the more chaos they can cause, the more fuel they can add to the fire. Because that's the only way they're going to win an election in this country. is through pure chaos and fraud. Yeah, and pushing like on the right is all evil and Everybody on the right is the cause of all the problems in this country. And trust me, I'm conservative. About, I'm not a racist. Yeah. Y'all might think I'm a white supremacist, but I'm not. I'm actually just light skinned. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> we were actually called black Nazis. Yeah. Y'all believe that? It's like, do y'all know what a Nazi is? <laughs> y'all don't think black and Nazi go together. <laughs> and Those they two do not. And they were dead serious when they said it. Yeah, I can see it in the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, okay, I'm going to pull up this article by CNN. And the title of the article is What We Know About the Philadelphia Police Shooting of Walter Wallace Jr. Who wrote it, man? What's the, what's uh, the author's name? Eric Levinson, CNN. That sounds liberal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was posted October 28th, Wednesday at 4.23 p.m. That's the 28th today, right? Eric, what? Levinson? Yeah, Levinson. Probably an alias. Yeah, but anyway, probably a stage name. Yeah, so here we go. So I'm say, what I'm saying is the media has a play, is playing a huge role in the dysfunction in our country, these riots, especially in our black communities, mm -hmm. right? So look how they frame this entire article to start with. Yeah, okay? Here we go. Pretty disgusting that this is our media doing this. Yeah, this is the media. Instead of the, uh, just putting out the information what happened, mm -hmm. they're framing the conversation so they, you think a certain way. Yeah. Okay, watch this. Watch this garbage. And if before you go forward, and if you're easy manipulated, if you don't think for yourself, yeah, you will believe every word they say. Yeah. All right, here we go. Philadelphia police shot and killed a 27-year-old black man waving a knife on Monday afternoon as his mother watched nearby. Protests in the city have raged in, in the two nights since. Here we go, here we go. The police shooting of Walter Wallace Jr. captured on cell phone video is just the latest instance of police officers using violence against black people who are disproportionately targeted by law enforcement. Like I said, the cops didn't just show up and say, look, yeah. there's a black person. Let's go over and see what he's up to. Yeah. His relatives called because the guy has bipolar disorder. People in that house were scared. Right. So they called the authorities to come help the situation. And let me just say this. Statistically, they may, it might be some truth to that, that blacks are being shot and killed at a higher rate than whites. But that doesn't explain why they're getting shot. Are they getting shot because they're black or are they getting shot because they're more violent? Yeah. Just another statistic I want to throw out there to you. Whites are being shot and killed almost two to one compared to blacks. Yeah. Law enforcement is, they do have the ability to defend their life. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether they're white or black. Yeah. Even if that, at, uh, what the, this article says is true, mm -hmm. that blacks are disproportionately talking about, even if that's true, there still could be an explanation in, for that. Are yeah. these just black people walking down the street, walking their dogs and cats and getting in altercations with cops and they're shooting? Right. Or is, like in this particular incident, the cops are called, they come out and the guy's got a knife and he's charging a police officer. That's what happened in this uh, incident. 
So you see how they they lead people a certain way. They're trying to say the black people are being shot and killed at a high rate, which is statistically true. But why are they being shot and killed? Not because they're black. Black people technically are more violent when be when they're being approached or being arrested. Statistics prove that. Yeah. Just. Yeah. I mean, we uh, the well, black that's... demographic we commit a majority of the violent crimes in this country. Of course, when cops come into contact with the uh, most blacks, is those. Those I think you guys know that yeah, I let me point out personally this. don't trust make up, what, 13 the statistics of population? at all. Yeah. Us as black people, we account for 50% of the violent crime in this country. I'm talking about yeah. murders, rapes. That's a crazy statistic. Because I think yeah. there's that agendas why blacks are being on both sides when it comes to statistics. Some reason, so I don't know what violent. I can trust. Now, if, yeah. you, if a black man is walking down the street and, they, <clears> and the cops using racial slurs and he just pulled him over because he yeah. was sagging his pants yeah. or they didn't like his hair up yeah. or anything like that. Did he shot and kill him? Yeah. yeah, that's racially motivated. Yeah. But there's absolutely no proof in this country that these people are being hunted down like animals. Uh, like in this incident, his relatives called the authorities. Yeah. They were seeking assistance, help. Yeah. Okay, let me keep going. And like, and look, okay, let, let me uh, start back over. The police shooting of Walter Wallace during the caption on cell phone video is just the latest instance police officers using violence against black people who are disproportionately targeted by law enforcement. And like after police violence in Minneapolis, Minnesota, in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and in Louisville, Kentucky, frustrated and angry residents have lashed out against the powers that be in the form of protest and violence. Like I said, yeah, this guy's not out there minding. Cops didn't approach him, start calling him racial slurs, instigate a fight, got into a situation where they shot and killed him. And nothing to do with it. This is not violence. This is two police officers who put their life on the line each and every day who get into a deadly situation. Yeah. They have a right to, that life matters as well. And you can totally tell from the video, they didn't want to shoot the guy. They, they were backing him. up. Yeah. yeah. But I just want you to see in that article how they're missing, they're lying by omission. Yeah. Yeah, black people are getting killed at a high rate. That is a fact. But you need to know why. You need to investigate it. Yeah. Just to say that they're being killed disproportionately compared to their white counterparts, yeah. that's misinformation. Yeah. We need to know why. Is it because the cops are racist or is it is the reason why black people are being more violent? Towards I'm cops, thinking yeah. Hollywood, celebrities, mainstream media is teaching blacks that behave this way. Yeah. They they play a they, they played a huge role in all of this. And don't forget the man was mentally ill. Yeah, and people say y'all should have shot and killed him. He's mentally ill. Yeah. Look, whenever somebody's holding a gun and a knife, yeah. and you're gonna be scared. Yeah. I'm gonna be shaking. Yeah, whenever somebody's holding a gun or a knife and they come at you, yeah, they're mentally ill. Yeah, especially if you're just sitting there walking your cat. Yeah, or if you're just a police officer showing showing up to a scene to de deescalate stuff. Yeah, yeah more, majority of people, violent criminals, they yeah. they have something mentally wrong with them. Yeah, so um, I mean, I mean, it's easy for everybody to sit back and say, why did you have to shoot him so many times? Look, put yourself in that officer's shoes. If you if somebody's coming at you with a knife, you can pull the trigger once. You can forget the other times. You're nervous. You you're pulling that trigger over and over because you're scared. Yeah. Somebody... And so y'all act like cops can't be human. Yeah. You might they they may ask him how many times you fire. I don't know. I think I fired twice. They count six bullets in them because people freak out when somebody's coming at you with a knife. I mean, what would you do if you was a police officer and that somebody's coming at you with a knife? Would you shoot? No. I would think so. Your life's on the line. No. Hey, hey, put that knife down. They have hey, to really be running at me for me to hey, shoot. Hey, come on, yeah. dude. You're scaring me now. If they're just, yeah. you know. I mean, these shooters are going yeah, I mean, to continue to have to see the video, hold themselves accountable. And behave. Especially if I can tell something. Well, I mean, wrong. the only way y'all can prevent you know I mean? incidents like this, not yeah. with social workers or anything like that. I walk around the car. I walk around the car. Yeah. I'll be on the other side. Look, I and don't want to shoot that you. Net. Yeah, just shoot that you need to put it down, please. Mm -hmm. That'd be nice if we had them. It'd be nice if we. I was just watching that the other night. Until we come out with some more technology, like a net. But even if we came out with those, y'all would probably say, oh, you see that? Oh, man, they netted him like he was a slave. This oh. is racism. Oh, this is slavery right? <laughs> all over again. He was running. I knew where he, he was going. I said, like is he going to say netting him like an animal and, and, or a slave? Like slaves, man. That man, was this, messed up. This is, this is white supremacy right here. Look, the best way to, to approach your life when everything, when anything happens, man, is to hold yourself accountable. Yeah. 
Just follow police directions. And unfortunately, some things is not going to go your way. Bad things happen all the time. Life is not fair. Yeah. Stop Damn acting right like anything's supposed to go your way. Life is never going to be fair. Yeah, that's, that's like this situation I think is fair. You throw your smile with a knife and they got yeah. a gun and you don't want to stop. It's fair for that dude to shoot you. That's the law. I I, I totally feel you. I hate to see people die too. Yeah, but but what other, what else could the cops do? That's why I disagree run away with them. And jump yeah, in the course and just leave. Yeah, they're there to. Yeah. They're there to. I'm not saying they're bad for the thinking that way. Like I get why they're they thinking that way, but do. I think yeah. I'm, I'm going to another level. And get back up. Somebody up else could of die. Helping preserve. And then that's on the cops. You know, the, what else? What if they play nice and they run away and they go back in the house and he just start just. It's stabbing everybody in the house. Yeah, what if they didn't shoot the guy? Eventually, the guy would have stabbed the police officer. Yeah. And when somebody's that close, all it takes... I don't know. It, it depends. Pull that I trigger, gotta see the video. That, that pistol jams, you're done. Yeah. And they, they, these cops are thinking about that while they're backpedaling. They didn't want to shoot the guy. When they got too close, unfortunately, they had to shoot. And you know what uh, they mentioned in the article? Neither one of the cops had tasers because they, uh, they didn't have the funding for tasers. Wow. I mean, the irony in that, defund the police. Maybe this guy would be still alive if they had proper funding. But a lot of cops don't like to use those tasers. Yeah, even you know with that said. They're yeah. not reliable. Yeah. Well, who knows if the, this police department had the funding, maybe this guy could still be alive. Yeah. The so worst I'll, thing we could do in any society is defund your police. Yeah, so that's why we need to vote Trump, because they're not going to defund Why didn't they pepper, I, don't, I didn't see the Trump video. Trump 2020. Why didn't they yeah. pepper spray him? Um, they could have pepper sprayed him, right? Doesn't doesn't pepper spray reach kind of far? Like I've seen it, I'm like, damn! I didn't know it sprayed that far. They could have pepper sprayed him, right? They didn't have tasers because they were they didn't have the funding. So if they had pepper spray and tasing tasers, maybe that would have helped the situation. You get what I'm saying? I just think there's a, 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 a line that really they shouldn't go beyond unless they absolutely have to. Now, that line is taking somebody's life. That's my personal view, especially if somebody's got mental problems. I get them the help they need. Like, you know, people will say, oh, well, what if, what if uh, they didn't shoot him? He might have stabbed somebody else. Yeah, that's a possibility. But you have to take every situation. In other words, like say, okay, I got a knife. There's two cops here telling me to put it down. I'm, uh, is a family member behind me or near me that I'm also going like this to? And they're trying to protect them? Like I, I rush them and they shoot me? Like is that the situation? Like there's always a whole lot of what ifs sometimes. When it's like, okay, well, that wasn't the situation. I know you're saying, well, what if that happened? But in reality, that's that wasn't in the cards to happen because people weren't near him. It was only the cops that was near him. You know what I mean? I don't know. You know, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm just a more compassionate person. You know, I'm not about taking people's lives when you absolutely do not have to. So, um, I'm going to do a separate video with the, um, with the, the video. The footage of what happened all right so look for that i'll see y'all soon and go subscribe to the hot twins and tell them top of madness sent you